keep seeing little bait fish swimming around in here. You'd think there'd be a pike or musky chowing down on some of those. What did I say? Oh my gosh. Howdy everyone. I'm back at it again. It's a beautiful day here in North Dakota. Perfect day for some kayak fishing. So I'm out here on the river. We're gonna do some whopper plopping today. I've got a 130 size tied on here. So I'm mostly looking for pike and musky, but you never know, we might get some smallies on that big whopper plopper. It's bright and sunny right now, but I believe we're supposed to get some cloud cover at some point today. So I'm gonna fish my way upstream a little ways, then I'll probably turn around and head back downstream a little ways. See if we can figure out where these big predator fish are hanging out today. It's a lot of bait fish roaming along the weed edge, so I'm thinking just running the whopper plopper along those weeds would probably be a pretty safe bet to find something willing to come up and smash it. Or right out in front of trees like that too. There we go. First fish of the day on that plopper. A little smally. He's gonna pull me right into this tree here, that's all right. I'm gonna wait and see if a big pike or muskie popped out of there chasing him. <laughs> all right, come here, you. There we go. Oh, it's a smallie. I foul hooked him. Felt like something big. Nope, I just got him hooked all funny. Alright, come here, bud. Well, not much action yet. A few smally swipes. That's about it. I'm working my way up toward the dam though. Sometimes that's where the big predator fish are. This time of year, midsummer right now, water's a little bit warm. Up by the dam, we've got the cool water pouring out of the lake, so. Plenty of food too. A couple reasons for those big pike and muskie to be up there. So this is a stretch where I caught a muskie on the rat lure a couple of weeks ago. The water level has come down about a foot. We might go try that spot again, but I'm guessing it's probably going to be a little bit too low for there to be much for big fish back there. Kind of guessing we might find a couple little pike. But that'll probably be it. You never know though, so we're going to head up there and give it a try. So I'm currently working my way back to where I caught that muskie a couple of weeks ago in this backwater channel. The water is down about a foot, so I'm not really sure if we're going to find anything back here. It's pretty swampy looking today. It's a lot of bait fish. I'm seeing a couple of bullheads sitting right on the surface, so there's definitely food back here for those big predator fish. I'm just not quite sure if it's deep enough for them. But we'll toss that plopper around and find out, I guess. Yeah, it's gonna be lots of weeds back here, I think. 
I believe it gets a little bit deeper on the back side of this little point here. Got my hollow body frog on my other rod, but I don't know if I can get away with the plopper. That's what I'm gonna throw. Those pike and muskie, they just hate that lure. They either love it or hate it, I don't know. They come up and they try to attack it. <laughs> That's the only thing I do know, I guess. Well, there's one. What we got here? I believe that's a pike. Not a real, real big one, but hey, it's a start. Come on up here, bud. Kind of looks like this one. Had a rough experience with some lip grippers. I always hate to see that, but the fish is still trying to eat that least, so seems like he's doing well. <laughs> Get my hands out of the way quick before they find those pike teeth. Need to start humming the Jaws music, and then I'll find that big one. I don't think they're back here today. I think it's just a little bit too shallow. I found that one little pike right in here on my way through, but nothing else back there. So we'll head back out to the main river. We'll give it a try out there. Keep seeing little bait fish swimming around in here. You'd think there'd be a pike or muskie chowing down on some of those. What did I say? Oh my gosh, that's a big muskie, you guys. Big musky on the whopper plopper. Oh my gosh. Whew, there's that adrenaline rush. <laughs> Man, 
that fish just came up and hit that flopper like jaws. I just barely got him out. Oh, come here, bud. There we go. Got him. Look at that. He shook that plopper even. Man. Wow, take a look at that muskie. Finally found that big bite that I was looking for. Yeah, I went back here and checked this little back channel area where I found one a couple of weeks ago, but the water level's down about a foot. As Soon as I got out here, where it meets up with the main river, I started seeing bait fish. Next thing I knew, this monster slammed my whopper plopper. Try to hold her down as deep as I can. It's hot and sunny out here today. I'll try to revive her for just a second. Yep, I think she's ready to go. Whew. Beauty of a fish. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for today. <laughs> At least one of those. And we got him on that 130 perch colored whopper plopper. another musky or big pike. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna give the plopper a few more casts through there. got here. That one looks like a pike, I believe. Yep, it's a pike. Not a monster, but it is definitely a decent pike. Oh no! Well, I got to see him at least. It's probably about a 32 inch pike. Bummer. I wanted to at least hold him and say hello real quick. little pike. A little bit smaller than that one that just shook my plopper, but we'll see if we can actually land this one. I think we should be able to. Not even going to get him in the net. Just a little guy. Probably a snack size fish for that muskie that I caught about a half hour ago. Yeah, I did miss that other really nice bite. 
right over there shortly after catching that muskie. I, I'm pretty sure it was another muskie. Either that or it was a real big pike. But I figured I'd fish my way back in here just a little bit. It starts getting real shallow up here, so I'm not gonna head back here too far, I don't think. So I decided I'd float my way down the river a little ways. I'll try a couple spots down here where I've caught muskie in the past. I gave it about an hour in that spot where I caught the muskie. I had another really nice bite and then hooked into a couple of pike all within about 15, 20 minutes of releasing that fish. And then I had about 45 minutes of no action. So I don't know, maybe they just got sick of seeing my whopper plopper. But we'll float our way downstream a little ways. The current has really slowed down out here since I was out here a couple weeks ago, so I have no problem getting back upstream. It'll be a nice easy paddle back up to my truck. It just sucks today. There we go. I hear some action, just a little pike, but hey, I'll take it. Come on up here, bud. Oh. Maybe I should get him in the net. Nah, I think I got him. Don't close your mouth on me. There we go. That's actually not a bad pike. Not real long, but he's a thick one. Yeah, he crushed that plopper. Oh, he's doing a somersault and he's gone. Well, I think that's gonna do it for today's trip. That wind is starting to pick up and I just heard some thunder rumble off in the distance. So I'm gonna make my way back to my truck, I think. I did fish my way downstream here a little bit. Found one little pike that I hooked into, one other that I missed. But hey, we caught the one awesome musky on that 130 Whopper Plopper today. Had another really nice bite. I'm pretty sure it was another musky that I missed few bonus pike. Yeah, it was a pretty good day out here on the river. I'm glad I came out. I'm glad you guys came along with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time.